running? Why are you running? Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Sage and welcome to this video everybody. In this video, I will be going over how to clean exploded spaghetti noodles from a microwave. Now, but for real, everybody, welcome to this video. My name is Sage, and today I will be going over some of the best ways that you can get coupons in Pixel Gun 3D because everybody has been requesting this. This is one of the most requested topics on my channel. It seems everybody has been having a hard time figuring out ways that they can actually get coupons easier. So, um, I, there is a bunch of obvious ways to do it, and then there are some that you might not really uh, like think of. So, hopefully, guys, this video does help you. Uh, this video has been insanely requested. Like, I went through my comments yesterday. And there were so many people who wanted to see this, especially from like the last video. I said, huh, if you guys want to see this video, let me know down in the comments. And there was like probably 20, 30 people who said this. So yeah, guys, I will be making this video today. And um, probably later on today, I'm going to be trying to get like a, a 50 kill game in public because I, I got to 47 earlier and I was kind of upset by that. So it made me kind of want to get like a 50 kill game. So I'm going to be trying to get a 50 kill game in public later. So that'll be another video that I have coming out. Um... So, uh, anyway guys, if this video does help you, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on it and also subscribe because we are so close to 8,800 subscribers, it's actually insane. Um, we're gonna be hitting 9,000 subscribers soon and that's just really, really crazy and then right after we're gonna be hitting 10k, so, uh, thank you guys all so much for the support, so, uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those notifications. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. So within Pixel Gun 3D, there's a bunch of different craftable weapons that everybody really wants to get. For example, the Liquidator 21. Um, when you click on it, you can go to the gallery and you see that it costs a thousand in order to get. So a thousand of these coupons are really, really hard to get. So one may think, but however, you know, obviously there's a bunch of other weapons that cost around the same. For example, the splinter here, it costs around the same. So 1,000 whole coupons in order to get this. So there's a bunch of ways that you can actually get these coupons really easily, and you'd be surprised. So if you, whenever you go to gallery, if you go to sets here, there's a whole bunch of sets that give you coupons for completing. So for, for example, if you were to buy all the weapons inside of one specific like set, you would get a large amount of coupons for doing so. And uh, not to mention, for every single gun that you buy within the game, you get, um, like if you see at the top there, it says guns needed zero out of five. Once you buy five guns, you get 200 coupons and you can try and buy guns within like a set itself. So you can build up the set and slowly get more and more coupons um, because obviously you'll be getting the coupons for you know getting as many guns as you did and then you're also going to be getting the coupons for completing the set so there's a bunch of cheap weapons usually whenever you scroll up in like the categories like if you scroll up really really high in like the primary if you scroll all the way to the top in the backup um they usually have a bunch of really really cheap weapons around here and you can buy a whole bunch of them just so you can get your guns needed category up and you can start getting like you know 200 coupons per go so there's a really big mistake that people make whenever they're trying to buy weapons to get coupons. Now take the cooler here, for example. So when you go back, you can see that, oh wow, the, the cooler weapons in the, uh, the, the trader's van. I'm going to save up all my coins so I can get the cooler. Now that's a really, really bad mistake. Something that you're going to want to do is just go to the event. And likeliness is the weapon's going to be in the event. And you can trade it for coupons. And you'll end up spending a lot less coins in order to get the weapon. Um, you can just buy a bunch of really, really cheap weapons and build up your sets to get more coupons. And with those coupons, you can go ahead and then buy the cooler from the like event area of the craft. And that will save you so many coins, guys. And it's a mistake that so many people make. They accidentally, like, well, maybe not even accidentally. They probably unknowingly go to buy those weapons. And they don't know that they are wasting so much coins when you could just buy cheap weapons and then get the weapon that you're trying to get in the long run. I, unfortunately, have nearly every single weapon that you can buy within the game. So I'm kind of out of luck here. Um, the only other way I could get weapons is from the Traders Van now. So if you have most of the weapons in the game, then eventually you're just going to have to get them from the trader's van. But one thing that's really, really, like, uh, useful, you got to make sure you're not buying, like, a bunch of weapons from, uh, like, a set that's not really going to be worth it. For, like, for example, like, ones that are 400 or below aren't really worth it, and the ones that are, like, 500 and above, um, those are the ones that usually are, like, require much more, like, difficult to obtain weapons, but they give you a large payout for coupons, which then you can use to buy, like, better weapons. So, um, I would not really go for the ones that cost, like, 100, or they won't give you, like, 100 coupons 
you should probably get something that like you know one of the sets that gives you 600 for example um that's so, so much more worth doing um and it's definitely something that you should be able to do because you know um getting coins isn't too difficult but if you guys want me to make a video on how to get coins um i can make a video on that tomorrow so let me know down in the comments if you want to see something like that so one change that I think is definitely necessary for the coupon system is that you should be able to get coupons from getting weapon upgrades as well. So like you obviously spend a lot of gems and coins in order to upgrade your weapons. And I think that you should get a little bit of payout from that because everybody knows that how like expensive these upgrades are. So I think you should be able to get a little bit of coupons for upgrading your weapons, not just buying them. Because um, cause there's people like me, like in my scenario where they've bought almost every single weapon in the game. And because of that, they are unable to get any coupons so the coupon system becomes basically pointless for a lot of people so um that's something that i hope will like change in the future um because i know that a lot of people would much rather be able to get coupons much easier because eventually it just becomes pointless for a lot of people so um if you're unable to get coupons besides like the traders van weapons then you know you're only going to be able to get a couple coupons per week and that's just totally pointless at that point so they definitely need to add a feature where you can get coupons for upgrading weapons so a lot of people like to go ahead and say that, you know, having coupons in the game in general just isn't really a good idea because having a whole bunch of forms of currency is never really good to have in a game because it just makes the game a lot more confusing and it makes people want to like, you know, try and get one currency over the other and then the, they, like, the game's costs become imbalanced and, you know, people don't really know what to do with the game anymore. So a lot of people like to say that, you know, getting coupons aren't really worth it, but um, I think it's a really, really unique feature that Pixel Gun 3D has because they're sort of rewarding you for spending coins by giving you a different form of currency that you can you know eventually buy a weapon with so i don't know if like their intent was to make it so that you can only get the weapons very very slowly because it's very very difficult to get coupons unless you do these methods that i've been showing you because you know buying cheap weapons a lot of people don't really buy the terrible like 15 coin weapons from the primary section but um those weapons do count in the gallery as weapons that you can get for getting coupons so um if you do these methods guys you'll be able to get uh coins or coupons a lot faster it's just unfortunately for me i do have almost all the weapons in the game at this point but um nonetheless guys i think that it's definitely a really good thing that should be in the game forever i don't think it should be removed because then at that point you would have no chance of getting new weapons at all and then that would just be completely pointless so to summarize guys you guys are going to want to buy cheap weapons that are inside of a set because they will give you more coins for being you know just weapons themselves and then also more coins for being in the set so you're not going to want to go for the cheap super like you know 125 coin chests uh for sets that's not going to be like perfect for you at all um you know the the less the amount of uh coupons that it gives you then the like you know the more effort you're gonna have to put in for no reason um i know eventually once i started to get more and more coins eventually i was just trying to go for weapons and sets that even gave me like 125 because um it became so difficult for me to get coupons that it would just like felt like i was putting in way too much effort for it so eventually i did stop trying so like i said guys cheap weapons in sets that give you high rewards um this should make it so you can get any weapon that you want mythical all the way down to epic whatever category you guys want guys um the most expensive weapon will cost a thousand coupons which isn't too hard considering all the things i've shown you um these things all should help you a lot Alrighty, everybody that is going to be the end of this video i hope you guys did find it useful if you did make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel guys because i do post videos every single day and i also like to stream occasionally as well i will be getting my computer within the next three or four days i think so um that's really exciting um i'll be able to do face cam streams and all that so i'm really really excited for that guys um, so if you guys did find this video useful, let me know down in the comments if it did because obviously it's going to help some people and some people it might not because some people might already know this stuff. Um, but let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see a video, like an updated video on how to get coins and gems easier because I would love to make a video about that. Um, so yeah guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys would like to see if you guys don't want to see like the coin video. Um, let me know your other ideas in the comments as well because like you guys saw at the beginning, I do, like if you guys have a really good idea, chances are I'll use it for a video. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys all later. Hey, do you have Discord? If so, you should totally join the official Unity Discord. The link to it is down in the description. As of right now, we have over 500 members who are constantly looking for people to play with. As soon as you join, you can have easy communication with me and everyone else in the community. So, uh, what are you waiting for, man? Go join my Discord. The link is down in the description. Thank you.